happy Sunday, guys. This is probably going to be one of my last compilations since I want to be up and rocking for you next week. But I hope you enjoyed looking back and just seeing the original jams and things that I've done. So, I have to say, I'd like to think I've come a long way since busking in our local town in the classic rain. jams seemed to get a bit more popular and a bit more viewed. I got asked to play on TV shows and things and I have to admit it was a bit scary at first. So Toby, how old are you? I'm 10. And how long have you been playing this, this bad boy then? Um, well, since I was about 6. Yeah, so you've been playing for 4 years? Yeah. You're quite an accomplished player aren't you? you did you appear on Radio 2 I hear? Yes, I was on it twice. Wow, who, who, who spoke to you? Who, who interviewed Chris you? Evans. Chris Evans. Did he get you some play, play some things on the radio? Yeah. So you've got a huge fan base now then already, have you? And you've got a Facebook page as well, haven't you? Yeah. You know a lot of people go on that? Um, well, yeah, because I've nearly got about 2,000 likes on it. Wow. I also got to appear on many TV shows in England with School of Rock the Musical. So here are a few clips from Antidex, Saturday Night Takeaway and Comic Relief. You, Zach, you ever play electric guitar? No, my dad thinks it's a waste of time. Oh, well, let's waste some time together, shall we? Follow me. Grab a hold of your axe and try to block out this rip. Now let your shoulders relax. You don't want to be so stiff. for me was when I just got off the plane at Denmark Airport and I just saw this film crew like in front of me and I thought oh there'll be someone behind me so I'm looking behind me and stuff and then they go Toby Toby and I'm like 
me and it was for me I was just blown away but it was an amazing experience Toby han ser ikke ud af meget hello welcome to Denmark thank you men han har allerede været verden rundt I've been to Memphis but never Denmark or Copenhagen so I've seen the airport so far and I'm pretty happy og forældrene følger med but it's great we you know we're enjoying following around behind him carrying everything København er kun en mellemlanding. I weekenden skal han spille til Blues Festival i Frederikshavn. Det lyder voksent, men inden i bluesmesteren er der en helt almindelig dreng. Um, when I don't play, I just play with toy cars or look up cars on the internet because I'm obsessed with cars. Med sine 12 år er han ikke engang teenager nu. Oh Så hvad ved han overhovedet om at føle? I'm getting old. The blues. Fremtiden ligger fast. Bluesen kommer til at følge ham hele livet. I don't want to live in a house. I, I want to live in a van. And be on tour all yep. the time. Yep, like with uh, mom and dad. King. Yep. Festivalen Blues Heaven i Frederikshavn er i morgen og lørdag, og Tobi Lee, han er faktisk på programmet begge dage. Also filmed by a Norwegian news company when I performed at Nadaro's Blues Festival. Not just about my music, but about my love of Volkswagens. Vi skal nå møte en 13-åring med to store interesser i livet. En av dem er folkevognbussa som du ser her. Den andre interessen klaffer fint med Nidaros Blues Festival som nå er i gang. Og dette kan du fortelle mer om, kollega Mette Volland. Det kan jeg, vet du, for inn her i den flotte Volkswagen-bila så sitter nemlig Tobi Lee. Hei Tobi, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, can you play some blues for us, please? Thank you. You're 13 years old. I am. How long have you been playing the electric, electric guitar? I've been playing for seven years, so since I was six. After my two appearances on two different little big shots in two different countries, I got to appear on the one in my home country with the amazing TV host Dawn French. When it comes to the electric guitar, he's absolutely red hot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Toby.
amazing to get a phone call from the Ellen Show saying we would love you on our show. And the next minute I was flown out to Hollywood to be on the Ellen Show. And I was kind of like, I watch this on YouTube most days just laughing my head off. And now to actually be sitting right next to her, it was just amazing. She was such a lovely person. She was so generous. And I can't thank you enough. Well, like most kids, our next guest loves two things, blues music and vintage cars. From Oxfordshire, England, please welcome 13-year-old blues guitarist Toby Lee. <laughs> old? Yeah. How long have you been playing electric guitar? I've been playing since I was six, so seven years. Wow. And did you start with acoustic or you started with electric? I actually started with a ukulele that my grandma bought me. Uh -huh. I've still got it and I tried to play it, but it's got no strings. Oh. So it's not much use. No, you can just bat on it like a drum. Yeah. Okay, so you started like that. And then what made you get into the blues? That's a weird uh, genre for you. I know. I'm a 13-year-old boy. I haven't had a wife left me yet, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be honest, I'm not sure, because when I was little and we were listening to the radio and stuff, there, there wasn't much blues on the radio, because there's never blues on the radio. Yeah, right. Um, but it, it sort of caught me. I Wait, don't know where why. did you hear it? I think it just came up once, and I was like, that's cool. Wow, that's amazing. So you just gravitated towards that. That was just what you liked. Yeah. And so you love blues music and you like vintage cars. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started on vintage cars. Okay. <laughs> All right, I won't. Um, <laughs> but I have to keep going. Um, so what kind of... Do you, do you have vintage cars? You're too young. Well, I do. What do you have? Um, I have a 1965 Volkswagen bus. You do? Yeah. In, in School of Rock, I, I did that for a year. And um, for with the money I earned out of that, I thought, what's something that I can get that's actually useful in life? So I thought, ding, Volkswagen bus. Yes. Of course. What color is it? It's um, in sea blue. It's, in... There it is. Oh, that's it? Yeah. People call it Phantom of the Opera because half of the front end is missing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Does it even drive? It's got no engine. The engine fell out because it was rusty. Uh-huh. Um, and, yeah, pretty much everything... I, I'm going to call it Buddy, because its name is Buddy. Uh -huh. It's Buddy the Blues Bus. And my aim out of it is to be able to do my Sunday jams in it every week. Well, I got you some stuff. I didn't know that you had... I would thought you were going to put it in when you got it, but um, mm -hmm. I got some stuff for your car, and it's over here. Come see. Gosh. Look at that. There's some seats for you. It seems like you'll need those. And of course, my oh face my is gosh. on it, which you, you want. There's an amplifier so you can actually play in there. And there's some maps if you're going to go anywhere. And uh, of course, everyone needs a plant in their car. So um, you've got oh, that. Thank you so you, much. Oh, thank you so much. 
thank you guys so much for watching and I just wanted to say thank you for watching my mini series of compilations and I hope to be rocking for you next week well I will be rocking but I hope you enjoy it and I'll have a guitar in my hand as always and I'll see you then